Hi everyone! I thought today I would make a video showing you what I bought from the National Pet Show in Birmingham at the weekend. So we did go up on the Saturday and we had a lovely day which I did film a lot of and I will put a video up. If it's up already I'll link it in the description bar. So when you first go in you get a show guide which just shows you what stalls are there and what's going on over the weekend and tells you a bit about the different zones. So there's a cat zone, a dog zone and a small furry zone. There's also, there was the super vet who we went to see his talk which is amazing. Um, I'm sure you've all seen him on TV, Noel Fitzpatrick. Um, there was also a stand for Fitzpatrick referrals as well. And he is, if you don't know, an amazing vet who has a programme on TV and he does all this sort of cutting edge medical stuff for animals. Um, so yeah, his talk, talk was amazing. It was on compassion and sort of bringing animal and people medicine together. So that was really good. So that's that. Um, the first stall I went to was um, Katie from Guinea Pig Weekly UK who I'll link in the description bar and she does amazing illustrations of guinea pigs. She also does, uh, she's got a guinea pig colouring in book which I'll have to get soon. Um, I might also be getting one for a prize because if you haven't seen already, we hit 20,000 subscribers here on YouTube which is absolutely amazing. So I will be doing a competition sort of giveaway and I'm sure I will be getting some of the prize from her. So these are the little flyers that she was handing out and her shop did look very similar to this. It had all the sort of cute baby blue and baby pink colours. It was absolutely gorgeous. If you want to see it, then please do and check out my vlog for the day and that will be on there. And so the first thing I got is this print of the magical uni pig which is so amazing. How cute is that? <laughs> this is one of my favourite of her illustrations and I will be getting this framed and putting it up in the pig room because it is just too cute. And then it's got all these lovely little, excuse my nails, <laughs> that's left over from Halloween and I really need to paint them again. It's got all these really cute little stickers on. Ah, just love everything about that. And then I also got... Oh, I also got this card which again I think I'll probably be framing and putting up on the wall rather than sending it to anyone because I think it's too cute <laughs> and I want to keep it for myself. I love it. It's this guinea pig in an ice cream sundae thing. And look at that. <laughs> so yeah please do go and check out her Facebook page or her YouTube channel and give her a like because I think that's so unique. I've not seen anything like that before. And she's such a lovely person as well. We had a long chat and she's just lovely. Very, very kind and thoughtful. Yeah, just lovely. Do recommend going and giving her a like. The next things I got were these coasters from the Run Around Run people. Run Around. And they make these amazing housing and run systems for rabbits and guinea pigs. How cute is that? And we spoke to the couple that owns it a couple of years ago at the London Pet Show and they're so amazing, they're so passionate about rabbit welfare. They work closely with the Rabbit Welfare Association and yeah, they just make these amazing structures. Again, check out my video on the show for some of the systems, I'm sure I'll put in some clips of those. They've made this adorable Teletubby house for bunnies, which is sort of a wire mesh system that you then turf over the top and they hop in and out of it and it's just so cute. They've also given me a couple of things to give away for my 20,000 subscriber giveaway. So there will be some things like this featured in that as well. But these are ones that we bought for ourselves. This is really cute. It's just made out of um, plastic. I think it's laser cut in a similar sort of way that they do their door systems. So this is kind of a way of just promoting that and it is so cute. So we've got this guinea pig one and this pink bunny one with the little tail on. 
How cute are they? And then of course we went to say hello to Laura from Piggy Pig Pigs. Um, hi Laura! <laughs> and she really kindly gave us some new signs because if you've been on my Instagram you'll see that this one got absolutely destroyed by Lily and Ollie. I stuck it, like so many people, above the guinea pig cage and it fell in and it got destroyed. <laughs> so she gave us some new signs which was really kind. So we've got cool piggies live here. I love guinea pigs. This is probably my favourite. Pampered piggies live here with Chewy on. And then we've got this pampered piggies lives here. <laughs> so they are absolutely adorable. And of course we couldn't resist getting a couple of little things. Oh, got slightly squished in the journey. But we have this Weekaboo tunnel in this cute pink. See, I was tempted to get matching things, but I thought actually I don't end up doing that many matching sets because I'm really bad at washing everything at the same time. But this little tunnel, <laughs> which I know they're going to love. They absolutely love tunnels. And this will go to Lily and Ollie. Look at that little tag. This will go to Lily and Ollie because Jafar is a bit of a pain in the bum when it comes to fleecy things, which is why it always looks like I favour Lily and Ollie because they get all the fleecy things and Jafar just gets all the bedding and the natural sort of stuff because he is a little destructive pig, which Gizmo taught him to do. And then the favourite thing which I got from the show, which is this tent. Look at this with little ladybirds and flowers on. And it's got this little tassely bit here. And look at that with these little privacy flaps. How cute is that? They're going to absolutely love running in there and poking their head out. Again, it's got that adorable little tag. And I'm so excited about this. <laughs> and then the last place I went to was the Burgess stand. And they had some amazing show prices. Uh, all of their bags of treats were a pound. So I picked up quite a few bags of these because normally I get them from sort of pets at home or the range or places like that where they're usually around £2.50 so it was crazy cheap for their treats. So I bought a few bags of this Country Garden Herbs which my guinea pigs absolutely adore. So it's sort of a, a forage that's made up of, where is it? made up of dandelion, mint, chicory, plantain, milk thistle, marigold, cornflower and Jerusalem artichoke. So this is a healthy treat for them. I do like to spoil them and most shop-bought treats are filled with rubbish and aren't actually that healthy for them but this is a lovely healthy treat which I can give them and um, it makes them love me so <laughs> I bought a few bags of that. I also bought a bag of the mountain meadow herbs which again they really love. It's got sort of different flowers and plants in. This one has got dandelion, chamomile, colt's foot leaf, milk thistle, parsley, sage, hibiscus, fennel seeds, rose petals and sunflower petals. So again loads of yummy plants that they wouldn't normally be getting. And then I did buy a bag of apple snacks as well, which are one of their favourite treats. And I use, I tend to use these for vet trips for making it slightly less traumatic for them or for nail cutting as well. And these are just bits of apple, which have thyme and parsley in as well to sort of flavour them. Ooh. And all of my guinea pigs and bunnies really, really like these. So I thought I would get a bag of them as well and stock up. And then the last thing I thought I would try is this bag of Burgess hay. Now this looked really, really yummy. They had a bag open as well. So gave it a sniff and it just smells so lovely and fresh. It's really green. It's got really long strands as well. There's not those little sharp bits and it's not dusty, they cut it and dry it straight away so it keeps this lovely green colour and it means that it's not got any sort of mould spores or anything. I believe it is dust extracted as well. So 
So it was three pounds a bag. I think normally it's quite a lot more in pet shops, but for three pound a bag, I thought that wasn't too bad. I mean, the normal hay I use is three pounds a bag and it's probably three times the size of this but it does look really yummy so I thought I would try them with it and see what they think I don't think it's a hay that I could afford to feed them on fully but it does look like a really lovely quality hay so what I'll probably do is mix some of this in with their normal hay just so it goes a bit further so there's everything that I got from the show I didn't go too crazy this year just because um, by the time I bought tickets and paid for petrol, um, it was quite an expensive day out. We did also, because we went up on the Saturday, which was also bonfire night, we stayed up in Birmingham and we went to see a firework display and we made a nice weekend of it. So it was quite an expensive weekend, so I didn't buy too much stuff. Um, I found myself being quite restrained this year. <laughs> Um, there were also some amazing guinea pig cushions that I saw and there was a new company that I haven't seen before that make rabbit sort of toys. They built castles and there was even a windmill for rabbits. <laughs> so I'm quite proud of myself being as restrained as I was. It's difficult when there's so many like-minded crazy pet people and so many products to indulge myself and the pets but I feel like I did quite well and I'm proud of myself <laughs> but thank you so much for watching make sure to check out my vlog of the day and I will see you guys soon bye <laughs>